sideline for the Hawkeyes. It comes down to the 15 to Smith Marset. And he's brought down at about the 23 yard line. Classic. And this kicking game, it could get a little crazy here this afternoon. Iowa looking to get its running game on track this year. That's Ivory Kelly Martin making down in four. You'll see a lot of two tight ends, single back formation for the Hawkeyes. Stanley hands it off again and a first down run and then some out to the 41 yard line. Extremely important in this ball game today. Jackson Reynolds, Render, Ferguson, and Wirfs up front. On first and ten, they're going to run it again. That's Kelly Martin picking up about three on the play. We weren't lying to you, folks. It's windy down there. Blustery down there on the field today. From the 43. Stanley incomplete to Mitch for hands, and he's playing some excellent football. Very long, they're going to run it. Smith Marset with the first down close to the 40 yard line. Run it into the boundary, that stretch play. This is Sargent this time getting the edge. And another first down, a good gain of about 14 yards. Kelly and Sargent in the backfield. They line up in the eye this time. They're going to run it again. Well defended this time by the guys up front for Maryland. Little offset eye formation here for the Hawkeyes. Over the middle, picked off at the 16-yard line. The Terps, Trey Watson, one of the leaders on defense, with his fourth interception of the season. And keep in mind, Maryland leads the Big Ten in turnover margin. They do. 12 interceptions coming into this game on the season. That's lucky number 13. Huge play for the senior linebacker, Trey Watson, and an errant throw by Nate Stanley. Sails the ball over his intended target. Tried to find T.J. Hawkinson in the middle of the field. Goes over the top of him. And an easy interception for Trey Watson. And the Terps doing what the Terps do. Taking the ball away. Big play on defense for Maryland to start this game. On first down, a complete pass out to the 38-yard line. Because that happened to the squad in, in losing Jordan McNair back in June. Fleet Davis on the carry. Fleet Davis makes it out to the 45-yard line. Offense that you're going to see from Matt Cannon in Maryland. Pass incomplete in and out of the arms here today. Absolutely. Third and three. Jones motions, fumble, loose ball, and Hill throws it away. Wade Lee's punting from his own 31-yard line. Kyle Gronaway back at his own 20. An end over end punt fielded at the 23 by Gronaweg. Some leverage, you want to keep your arms inside the frame of your body, and then when you burst forward, you want to get your shoulder to your opponent's chin. This is an upward motion, and it should be this. It's dusty, That's those right. who can't do report. <laughs> so what, but Molly's been working out. She had been working out. Move that car. That was an SUV, guys. Can I get some recognition for that? And I'm in heels. Well done, Molly. All first team, all offensive sideline reporter. They attack and they play offensive line. Man, had me excited. Had Molly moving cars. Yeah, and they're <laughs> eight yard gain on that last run. They tried again between the tackles. Stopped up this time by Trey Watson. No gain on the play. It's going to be third down and short. And second down coming up. Approaching seven minutes to go here in the opening frame. Pass complete to easily and pushed out of bounds after a 14 yard gain. Only scrambling ability last week. Sargent in the backfield. Stanley fires incomplete. Had a chance to go around with Mike Hufford yesterday, former Iowa tight end. Met a lot of great people, saw the campus. Fantastic place. Nice run into the boundary and a first down run by Kelly Martin. Gain of 11. Backs out of the eye. A little smash ball right between the tackles. The ball eight times for 39 yards already. Nate Stanley checking this play at the line. They give him this ability within this offense. They're going to run it. Down to the 36 this time. It's Kelly Martin again. 
Joe Ludwig, the fullback, leading the way for Kelly Martin. They're gonna keep it on the ground. And Kelly Martin is stopped up short of the first down. The pass is complete and still on his feet easily. Broke a tackle. The ball came loose, but he was down first. Stanley. Incomplete at the five. Him alive, there's a lot to like about Nate Stanley. Two tight end, single back. A little counter. Kelly Martin. Brought down inside the 20-yard line. He has to kind of just fall off his legs. I hate to say it, but a little bit reminiscent when I watch the tape of a guy in Pittsburgh, Big Ben. Mm. Interesting comparison over the middle. Pass complete down to the 12-yard line. Yeah, even Trey Watson, the middle linebacker, said he reminded him of Ben Roethlisberger. They're going to run it this time. Down to the five-yard line. Hammer guy. Two tight ends. It's going to be Young. Not much of a hole there over the left side, Dusty. Stopped at the five. Good tackle by Byron Coward. He go already here in the first quarter. Third and four. Little bootleg action. Stanley broke a tackle, but nowhere to go and stopped up short. Miguel Racino. This Maryland offense strictly a rumor right now. And the offense that Matt Canada has evolved over the years. Gonna run it with Anthony McFarland. And Mc Check that second and 13. It'll get sweep action and nobody faking. Hesse making the stop. Completion rate. Gonna throw it here. One on one. Wrestling for the ball and incomplete. Position. Lee's punting. He shanks it badly. Gets a decent roll out to the 47-yard line. College football here at Iowa City at the end of the first quarter every Saturday. That's the Children's Hospital, and those are the fans at Kinnick Stadium, and even the opposing players from Maryland waving at the sick kids, the patients, as the Stead family. They're on the sidelines here from Iowa City. This has affected the community so much. I know this was your first time doing the Hawkeye Wave from the field level. What has it been like for you guys to watch the effect on the community? Children's Hospital. Last year, we were behind the kids at the beginning of the first quarter. So we got to see both sides. But this is spectacular. Two different vantage points. Thank you so much for all the Bye for this community and for these children. 13 minutes to go in the first time. Into the boundary. Nice run by Sergeant. Let's go. Well, it's a little windy, Chris, but uh, yeah, we'll take it over snow. Stanley back to pass. Little throwback to the tight end, Hawkinson, a good runner. Sergeant in the backfield. Two tight ends, two wide receivers. Sergeant over the right side, down to the 17. Let's go downstairs. Home this week, they're healthy and doing well, Mark. All right, that story. It's awesome. Has a happy ending. Ferguson doing a nice job on that offensive line for that ground game the Hawkeyes have to stay. 38, T.J. Hawkinson. Fourth and three. First fans out of the backfield, a dangerous receiver, and picks up enough for the first down. First and goal for the Hawkeyes. They run it into the boundary, that's Sargent again. Did tight end, blocks well, runs crisper routes, just not quite as dynamic as fans. Second and goal. Into the end zone and nobody home. Almost intercepted. Little trips right formation to the top of your screen. Stanley looks back the other way. Incomplete. Miguel Racinos in now to attempt a second field goal of the game. Made one earlier from 23. Knocks this through from 25. And it's a 6 to nothing game for the Iowa Hawkeyes. Looking for their third consecutive win. They Come on. I'm not lying, man. Needs to bring her on float. DJ everything. Ty Johnson on the return. Uh, Johnson is going to be stopped up just shy of the 24-yard line this year. Commemorating him before every game with his jersey on the field. 
Sean Jones, her fallen teammate. Second and three. Some nice motion. Cobbs on the carry. And Cobbs picks up the first down in inches. Didn't get a good spot on the previous play. Got one here and stud, man. Single back set here. Give it to McFarland instead. This was a very good week of practice. We've been connected from the front to the back end. That pass complete out to the 43-yard line. Maryland with the wind at their backs. The pass complete for the first down and then some. In the top, a wide open completion for a first down. Run it again. This time, nowhere to go. Take these quarterbacks. We're going to see them sooner than later. Second down and 11. A pass. Picked off. Amani Hooker. And he takes it out to the 42. His second interception of the season. And... Phil Parker's defense comes up big. Hawkeyes will have the football in good field position when we come back to Iowa City. Stanley under center. Backs out of the eye. They're running to the wide side of the field. Kelly Martin. Makes an excellent interception to get his offense the ball back. It'll be Kelly Martin again. Right between the tackles and a nice surge in the middle. Especially the Rockets, though. You yeah. don't want to start 0-2. No. Good game tonight. Ron James is already making everybody better. Brandon Ingram had a big game in their opener that loss in Portland. Third down and four for Iowa. That pass complete. Stanley finds his tight end, T.J. Hawkinson. Never wavered in his commitment either. They're going to run it. Kelly Martin. Nine under two minutes to go in the first half. They go empty. Stanley, a little bit high intended for Fant. Anderson was there, not his kind of offense. He was looking at Iowa and, and Pitt. Paul Chris was there. Paul Chris goes to Wisconsin. But Nate Stanley stays here at Iowa. Showing off his running ability here, partner. Stanley down to the 22-yard line and a first down in the backfield. Stanley serving and throws it away wisely. He had a they empty out the backfield. Stanley with time and into traffic incomplete. Personal foul. Hands to the face. Defense, number nine, half the distance to the goal, automatic first down. From somebody who knows, folks. First down out of the backfield, incomplete intended for Fant. They're going to run it with Kelly Martin. Stop painting. Into the end zone. A flag. Touchdown, what a catch by Smith. He hung on to it. Brandon Smith with one hand in behind Tino Ellis. Fantastic catch by Brandon Smith. One-handed, he's getting held. It's pass interference, doesn't matter. He fights through the contact, grabs it with one hand, brings it to his body. That's going to be a touchdown, Hawkeyes. Phenomenal individual effort by Brandon Smith in the corner of the end zone. Couldn't tell from our vantage point whether he actually was able to haul it in, but here's the replay. He's grabbing his left oh, arm. Wow. He can only use one hand to bring it to his body. Wow. Team. Great, great concentration by Brandon Smith, and this makes three weeks in a row he's made an acrobatic catch for his offense. And Stanley with his first touchdown pass of the afternoon. Brandon Smith with his first has been looking to get its ground game going this year. This appears to be a breakout game for them in that respect. First down and 10 for Maryland. 
Open at the 25-yard line. Johnson, attack. We've seen from either the last few weeks, but on the ground, doing a nice job. On to Jet Sweep. Number 12, Tavon Jacobs on the carry. Hold coming back. Holding. Offense. Number 55. 10-yard penalty. Repeat second down. 13 to nothing for the home team on homecoming. A little inside handoff. Shovel pass. Part of this second half for Maryland offensively. Hill to pass on the heat. Ball came loose. And they're going to say it's an incomplete pass. Defense off the field. Generations of players have played here at Iowa. Going back to the Hayden Fry days, this punt will dribble right around midfield and stop. There was an illegal formation by the kicking team with five men on the backfield. The five-yard penalty will be assessed at the succeeding spot. Impressive lifts of coaches there. On first down, Torn Young getting the carry. Fry and just talking about his charisma, the uniqueness of him. Hayden Fry, one of the all-time great coaches in college football history. Is Torn Young. Okay, got a great formula for success here. Sustained success, 15 bowl games since he's been the coach here. And now a wave of blockers down the sidelines for Hawkinson looking for his father. This is going to be Torn Young on the carry, and uh, Maryland defense got a head start. Comment about as a player, we'll tell you about it after this. Pass complete. That's Fant with a nice gain. This is on a <laughs> sunny day like this. The advisor, third down and two, straight ahead. Some power running by Austin Kelly. Out of the I formation, straight ahead again, down to the 16 yard line. Second down and eight. Little play action into the end zone. Incomplete. Miscommunication between quarterback and wide receiver. Sets up a third down and long. Stanley, the screen. Great defensive play by Maryland defensively. Going to attempt this field goal from 36 yards out. And he knocked it through. In quarterback, the first time we've seen is now. See if he can be a catalyst for this offense. Made a nice move. And Pigram out to the 31 yard line. Second and four on the jet sweep and a nice tackle by Golston. Chauncey Golston. Third and nine. Third and long. Pigram fires. Incomplete. Should have been caught. Side by Davenport. Lee's punting from his own 12. Kyle Gronewig standing in his 40 yard line. Gronewig going to let it bounce in front of him. And it's going to be down to the 39 yard line. Force equals mass times acceleration, right? Just because you're bigger. On the sweep, that's Kelly Martin. Single back set again. Stanley off the bootleg, misfires badly that time. Third and long. Little blitz coming, picked up. Hits fans out of the backfield, his tight end. And well defended off the field. He had scored, they had scored on their previous four possessions. And booted out of bounds by Tavon Jacobs. I think they could probably switch roles. And he, he gets some passes. Antonio Gates can't play basketball like LeBron James, I can tell you that. On the jet sweep again. This is Brian Cobbs. Please. Fumbled, booted into the end zone. Room service, happy homecoming, Iowa City. Anthony Nelson. What has not gone the way for the Maryland Terrapins so far this afternoon in Iowa City. We're going to see Pigram under center. Jet sweep in 15. Brian Cobbs runs into his quarterback. And as Pigram tries to pick it up, he kicks it into the end zone. And Anthony Nelson, Christmas came early mm. for him as he jumps on a touchdown to put the Hawkeyes up.
a convincing 22 point lead. Boy, you talk about something falling right into your lap. But he already had the ability to play with leverage. Now he's just kicking butt in the Big Ten. Much like his dad did as a player at Iowa. Ty Johnson on the return out to the 27 yard line. Maxime Hill back in at quarterback now. After two inauspicious sequences for Tyrell Pickett. Flag down. And that's going to be a hold clean. Holding. Offense. Number 55. 10 yard penalty. Repeat first down. Crazy. Hill hands it off. It's going to be a, about a two yard gain. He's going to play football at the next level. He's an explosive player, especially in the open field. 5 10 2 12. Going to get another opportunity here. Got a great seam and makes it all the way out to about the 28 yard line. <laughs> hey, per diem is not what it used to be, I guess. You tote that rock, too, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than ramen noodles. Over the middle, complete. Nice start. Out to the 45 yard line. And throw by Kasim Hill. They're going to run it. Johnson gets his second rush of the day. Oh, the, the outstanding things in my body that some of these college players do these days. I know your mom's chicken spaghetti was the, the deal, though. We sample that. Pass high by Hill. Huh? Flags. There's a little bit of motion on the left side of that offensive line. And just get after the quarterback. Hill sacked back at the 33. There's that pass rush. Hesse. Get to the quarterback or get to the football. Wade Lees is going to punt into the wind here. Perhaps that's why Kirk Ferentz called the timeout. Low snap. And a fair catch called at the 27 yard line. In Spanish and available on ESPN, the app also. You can watch that anywhere on the app. Coverage begins with Monday Night Countdown at 6. Torn Young dotting the eye. It's going to be Young straight ahead for about three yards. Always prepared. Second down and seven. And that little zone blocking scheme out to the right side and over the 36-yard line. Hanley not afraid to, to do that with his group. On third down and one, they power it forward. <laughs> You're working out. Put your weights away. He's going to run it again. Straight ahead, Molly to the 42 to get that. Second and seven. Stanley has been wide awake here in the second half, though. Ball may be the fastest. Third down and four for Iowa. incomplete he's as important as anybody that's come to this program in the last 20 years a shanked punt but maybe it wasn't by mistake it autographed down on the field here in the fourth quarter Maryland being shut out 23 nothing with the ball first down and 10 deep in their own territory Jones in motion, and he gets it on the jet sweep out to the 14-yard line. Is they run it. They're going to pick up the first down and then some. McFarland breaks one. Freshman. Nice looking tailback out of Hyattsville, Maryland. First down and ten. A little over nine minutes to go. The pass tipped and incomplete at the 35. Day. Second and ten. Pass incomplete in and out of the arms of Avery Edwards. After the quarterback. A time to throw, but incomplete from his own 19. Fielded at the 27 yard line. Shake. I'm going to eat this and have a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Send some up. Good. Send some up for us. Big Mansell in a quarterback. Shakes. 
I'd never seen that before. Kelly Martin again. Let's go back to this Peyton Mansell in a quarterback. 6'2 freshman from Belton, Texas. A little bootleg action. That's some pretty good feet. Owls were my problem. I was a little bit too physical. <laughs> I, 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 I can totally too see many games in middle school, so <laughs> I can totally understand and see that. <laughs> I had to hang up my check teams. <laughs> Out to midfield. It's as it played here and did pretty well for himself. The run again. This is Kelly Martin. Degrees of separation from Hayden Fry and the Iowa program. Kirk Ferentz presently. Five and a half minutes to go. And black and yellow all afternoon. And again, Kelly Martin be four yards on the ground. And so look at a pass incomplete. To give them that 23 to nothing lead. They've run for 203 yards. But attack a few more on here. I agree, two Kelly yard Martin game. Mansell's going to take off. A game they were really looking forward to three weeks ago. Mansell. Nice run for the first down. Go with a stash like that, Johnson. I could use it. I could work it. <laughs> first and ten. <laughs> down to the 21 yard line. 2002 team that went to the Orange Bowl. This is Sargent. Great hand walk. He brings 40. Parker Hesse doing a nice job coming off the edge. 16. Backs in the offset eye. And so over through, pardon me, that's Spencer Petrus. You have to think that Matt Canada's team has overachieved today in light of some of the very trying circumstances, some of the tragic circumstances that they have performed under. Leak running the ball out past the 30 present Jordan McNair in so many different ways Brigham running it I think the job that Matt he's in I was so impactful so important for him and this football team but I just I give a ton of credit to these players the staff for the way that they performed and put themselves in position to become bowl eligible this season two wins away from bowl eligibility for Matt Canada and Maryland, they drop this one though and fall to four and three on the season. Iowa, meanwhile, improving to six and one behind a efficient, not spectacular, but efficient, productive afternoon running the ball, especially.